daily this yeah. principle of love towards the blue towards the yeah. Moshe. Yeah. Alright, second day, second principle is Kuja Shakalia. Everyone say Kuja Shakalia? That means self-determination. There is something we have to embody when it comes to having a faith over our own destiny. It's to define ourselves, to name ourselves, and to create for ourselves and speak for ourselves. Very important, the power of language. Don't let anyone else define who you are. Okay. Alright, is there any uh, youth who like to speak on this idea of owning your name and defining who you are? <coughs> Not as any adults like to speak on this idea of kunja shakalia, self determination. And we invite, we invite all voices communally into our, our space here. What does self determination mean to you? Yeah, we do definitely, uh, like that principle says, self determination. If we don't get back to that root, especially that our ancestors had, especially surviving here in the Americas. Uh, we would be totally lost, but we, we definitely uh, got to know what you're doing, why you're here. You got to know your roots, your ancestors, to know where you're going to be going. So, you know, and just learning about the gifts and talents that you have inside you and having faith in God to use that to do what's good and to move forward in your life. Awesome. I want to say self-determination means direction. Direction means order. Order is established through understanding patterns in the heavens. Many of the cultures that we developed were about the heavens and the transitions of the seasons and the climate and the geography and the animals. Self-determination for black people today is us getting back in touch with the star, the sun or moon and the stars, not standing English time because it has nothing to do with climate change, which is actually real and happening on the planet. Many of the indigenous cultures are talking about, have been talking about, story form, direction. We need to determine our own destiny, self sufficiency. We should be able to feed, clothe, shelter, heal, and protect ourselves. Black people alone, on our own, by ourselves, without a little help first. Somebody else want to help? Go ahead. I'll thank you, be a human, and help. But we, black people, we should have doctors. Young people in here are talking to you. Be a doctor, be an engineer, be a scientist. We need you. We don't need you to sit here and clap your hands and light candles. We need engineers and scientists, black people. We need healers, doctors. People can heal us from our sickness because we are diseased people, clearly. Why are we working together more? So a sense of self-determination, where are you going? Has a sense of order. What's going on? The future has always been the same. It's what's in the stars. Not what they're talking about in commercials. Phones, oh man, humans have done all of those things. Drove flying cars, come on, get over it. You're alive on a planet in the universe. That's our destiny. It's a stellar reality we're dealing with. Not just sitting here earning some dollars. Come on, I'm black and strong. Self-determination means establishing order in your life and being able to provide all your fundamental, basic, essential necessities to survive on planet Earth without anybody outside of your tribe or family. No government, no people. Your family, everybody should have a responsibility of being healers, of being engineers, inventors, scientists, we should have that as the bar. What you doing? Oh, no, science, fool. Engineering, fool. That's what you finna do. I ain't finna just go over there out what you wanna do. Uh-uh. This is what you need to do for our people. We need doctors, engineers, scientists, inventors, so that we can actually determine our destiny. Permission to speak.